The House of Representatives holds its first hearing on D.C. statehood in 26 years. Here are seven things you need to know. D.C. residents pay some of the highest federal taxes per capita in the nation, but have no representation in the House or the Senate. If D.C. becomes a state, residents will finally have a say on how their tax dollars are spent. A majority of Democratic presidential candidates already want to make D.C. the 51st state. Washington, D.C. has more residents than Wyoming and Vermont. The last time the statehood bill went up for a vote was in 1993. A recent Gallup poll showed most Americans said no to statehood for the District of Columbia. If D.C. becomes a state, it could be called the State of Washington, D.C., in which D.C. stands for Douglas Commonwealth in honor to abolitionist Frederick Douglass, who lived in the district. Or it could be called the New Columbia. The new state would be separate from the Federal District of Columbia. The Federal District would include the White House, the Capitol Building, the Supreme Court, the National Mall, and nearby monuments. The remaining parts of the district would become the State of Washington, D.C.